Tom in Appleton, Wisconsin. Boy, I bet they got a lot of apples there. <laughs> I love a good Wisconsin apple. Mm. Hey, Paul, admittedly, I've done as a salesman and as an audiophile to my core what I'm asked for the very same reasons of wanting to show off the very best traits of a component or a system via audiophile recordings. Does anyone out there on YouTube even realize that so many of those audiophile songs or composers are dull, lifeless, boring, <laughs> and not the slightest bit of fun or thrilling, and are so often downright sleep-inducing sources of boredom? Even we audiophiles like to hear Metallica or Van Halen or ACDC or Rush or some seriously deep, soul-crunching buddy guy or Stevie Ray Vaughan blues cranked up and rocking like we're at a concert in our home. Showing off the system for what it can really do with some serious ass-kicking rock or similar with actual life and punch to it, why do we focus on audiophile records? <laughs> uh, there's a man with an opinion. I, God, I love it. All right. When you come here to PS Audio and you're going to be treated to the FR30s, the FR20s, the FR10s, whatever you'd like to hear, we will sit you down in this room and your guide, whoever it's going to be, and maybe it's Taylor or Caleb or Aaron, maybe it's me. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put on an audiophile recording. I probably have three or four. I'll play you a couple of octave pieces and I'm going to play you a couple of just nice commercial pieces that you're probably familiar with. And they're not going to be rocking and rolling and it's not going to be Eddie Van Halen banging on the guitar. The reason for that is for us to set a standard, for us to say, look what this system is capable of doing on music that we know is well recorded. And, and, and it's one of the reasons we started Octave Records, to produce music that I don't think any of it's boring. I think it, it's some of it is, I really enjoy it. But okay, we don't have Eddie Van Halen. We don't have, name your, name your person. So I do believe you need to say, here is what a great, for sure, well-recorded piece of music sounds like on a great system. And now, because most people, honestly, have never heard anything like this system, ever, ever. And lots of drop jaws coming out of here. So you got to set the standard. And if I were to let you play, um, I don't know, pick something, you know, uh, some awful recorded piece, and that's the first thing you heard, you would judge this system on what you heard. So we don't want to do that. What we do want to do is set the standard so you know, wow, great recordings sound remarkable. And then we hand you the iPad, which is charging right over there. And you're on Cobuzz and you can pick anything you want. And you've got a good half hour, depending on how many tours we have for the day, you spend up here and you can rock your heart out. And that is fun too. That's awesome, but at least you'll know what this system sounds like and is capable of, and then you hear it on music you're really familiar with, and that'll give you a very rounded, very full idea of what the Aspens, of what the PS Audio Electronics can actually do in a well set up room. So, all right, that's, that's what I got. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. <music>